Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of perforated vermiform appendix. A 17 years old male patient came with right lower abdominal pain and vomiting. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the right iliac fossa. You can see a blind ended fluid filled distended structure of intestinal origin connected to adjacent cecum. This is the cecum. The surrounding fat plane appears thickened. You can see some collection adjacent to this structure. There is presence of poor GERD signature which indicates the possibility of gangrenous change. So this tubular structure is the vermiform appendix. Due to distended appearance with poor gut signature, it should be appreciated as a gangrenous appendicitis. But adjacent collection makes us curious about finding the possibility of perforation. Here is another view and you can see a tiny defect at the tip of this appendix. So we want to focus more on that part. So magnifying the image you can see the defect quite clearly here at the tip of the appendix. It appears like a diverticula here. You can see a surrounding thick rim of fat and some collection adjacent to it. This is the site of perforation of this appendix. Here I have used the transvaginal sonography transducer to see this lesion and its surrounding thickening of the fatty layer is well visualized right now. So overall this is a case of gangrenous appendicitis with perforation. Here is the picture of this appendix. It is distended, fluid filled with poor presence of gut signature and this is the tiny defect at the tip of the appendix with surrounding fat thickening. This is the transverse and longitudinal section of this appendix and you can see some collection adjacent to it. The diameter measures around 13 mm. Here is the magnified image where we can see the communication of the adjacent fluid filled area surrounded by thick rim of fat with the appendicular lumen. Again the picture of the site of perforation. You can also see some irregularity of the inner mucosa of this appendix due to the gangrenous change. This is the transvaginal transducer view. So in summary, a blind ended fluid filled distended non compressible tubular structure of intestinal origin connected to adjacent cecum with poor gut signature, surrounding fat stranding and mild collection is noted at the right iliac fossa with a small wall defect at the tip of the lesion, suggesting it as a case of gangrenous appendicitis with perforation. Now the take home message. Any localized collection adjacent to a gangrenous appendix should seek attention to exclude the perforation. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.